Marcus Conti reporting on the breaking news with the Fed. The Fed is giving Wall Street carte blanche to rip you off. <laughs> Check this shit out. Right? So how many, if you were in a room full of uh, most people today, most awake people today, and you said, how many people, raise your hand if you'd like to see an end to the Fed. Everybody's hand will go up. Yeah, hey, hey, fucking, hey, fucking Fed, right? Fed, hey, fucking Fed's wrapping us off, right? Uh, so, but what does it really mean? Nobody fucking knows. Right? Quantitative easing. What do these words mean? What does is, what is, uh, 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 fiat money mean? Printing unlimited amounts of money. Right? No, you know, no gold reserve. Right? What do all these things mean? But, so what is, what is, uh, so let's, let's dive right in. I want to show you something. So Wall Street um, stress relief marks a big win for banks. Major banks just got a big win from the Fed. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, so the Federal Reserve announced it would no longer flunk banks based on operational or risk management lapses during its annual health check of the country's domestic banks. Uh, so qu they're easing the regulation. They're easing. Well, no, no, we don't want to see what's going on in, in, in the paper. Just do what you got to do. Lend money. Get back into heavy speculation. We give you the money. We give you the money and you screw the people. <laughs> That's what's going on. So deregulation, right? more of it, right? The Fed. Fed says banks are in good shape. Quantitative, the quantitative portion of the 2019 test, however, will still apply to U.S. subsidiaries of five foreign banks subject to the annual exam. So they're, they're, they're holding the regulation to foreign banks. The U.S. banks could... Do whatever the hell they want. They can rip, rip you off left, right, and center. Don't worry about it. The move, which is a big win for major banks such as Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, and Citigroup, forms part of a broader effort by the Fed to overhaul its annual stress testing process, which the industry has long criticized as being too oneness and opaque. <laughs> we don't want regulation. Get out of our fucking backyard, right? Just rip us off, right? Create another another equity market like the credit default swaps. And when it crashes, uh, don't come crying to us to bail you out again, right? Because it's coming, the debt bubble, right? Like I've been saying for a year now. Since 2007 and nine, global financial crises, the financial crises, the Fed has put the country's lenders to a strict annual test to see whether they would have enough capital to withstand the major economic downturn. For the largest lenders, the test also included a so-called quantitative objection that gives the Fed the discretion to, f to fail banks due to risk management or operational failures, even if they have sufficient capital. Most banks have failed the test in the past, stumbled, uh, in the past, stumbled on the quantitative objection. Banks have uh, received an objection, are required to adjust their capital distribution plans. It's fucking... It's gibberish, right? The banks only have five, five, maybe seven percent of the capital on hand in the bank to to meet deposits. So if more than five percent of the bank, five percent of the people that have money in the bank walk up to the bank and say, "Give me my money," uh, the bank freezes, right? So where is the where is the the uh, you know the the quantitative objective? Where is the the, I mean, how, how do you call that a stress test? It's, it's ridiculous, right? Most banks have failed the test in the past, past, stumbled on the quantitative objection. The banks that receive an objection are required to adjust their capital distribution plans. I know I read that twice. Uh, on Wednesday, the Fed said it would eliminate the quantitative objective for most firms due to improvements in the capital planning made by the largest banks, right? Oh, that's what I wanted to say. The in in crises, right? In crises, that they would be able to sustain themselves in crises, right? So, if the debt bubble pops and people say, "Give me my money," that's not a that's not a crisis. They're going to be able to sustain that crisis. No, they're going to freeze, and then they're going to go to they're going to go to to Trump and say through Man Steve Mnuchin, "It's already in place." They're going to go to Steve Mnuchin, who's going to go to Trump and say, we got a big problem, just like they did with Bush. And they're going to say, you know, bail us out. Right? 
the U.S. subsidiaries uh, of five foreign uh, leaders, uh, lenders, Deutsche uh, Credit Suisse, Swiss, USB, Barclays, and TD, would also still be subject to the quantitative object- objective. So not good. All right, so Bloomberg is reporting the same. Um, one of Wall Street's biggest annual fears <laughs> is poised to disappear after the Federal Reserve said Wednesday it plans to ease what what has uh, become a, a bur- it's so burdensome oh to save the to save the economy from free fall what a burden uh, so let's let's let uh, um, jerky in chief uh, has to say about the- now everybody says no no Trump has a secret plan don't you know Trump has a secret plan to get rid of the Fed he's just not telling you because if he tells you that's what his plan is, then the Fed will take measures to not make his plan happen. Right? Isn't that the, the, the Q logic or some bullshit logic that Trump is playing 4D chess with the with – he's so smart. He's such a fucking – oh, my fucking guy. He's such a genius. He's such a gift. Right? So let's see what he says about the Fed. We have a gentleman that likes raising interest rates in the Fed. We have a gentleman that loves quantitative tightening in the Fed. So he flipped it. Quantitative easing. Trump is saying, I like quantitative easing, which means keep the interest rate at zero, keep printing fake money, and, and, the, and the, the stock market will keep going up, right? It'll, it, on, uh, the bubble will keep inflating until it pops. That's your president in chief. That right there. So anyone who says that Trump is... Is is pro America and and keeps feeding the Fed, keep feeding this system that's ultimately going to pop. It already popped. It only popped eight years ago, ten years ago. It's going to pop again, right? And Trump is funneling in, making a joke, quantitative tightening. Idiot. We have a gentleman that likes a very strong dollar in the Fed. Can you imagine if we left interest rates where they were? There's no inflation, essentially. There's no inflation. There's no inflation, right? And I, look at my last video. I showed you the inflation, right? There's, there's hyperinflation in this country. When you spread it over time, people's money can't buy the goods that they need to get by, right? They got to work two and a half jobs. They still are squeaking by. There's no inflation. Not inflation. I don't see what? Inflation? Where? I don't know. I don't see it out my window. I never saw it as a kid because my father gave me 200 grand a year to as an allowance, right? I what? Inflation? I don't know. What the fuck? Are, well, I don't even know what you're talking about. Guys are crazy. Can you imagine if we left interest rates where they were? If we didn't do quantitative tightening? It was a 2 hour plus. Uh, so jack off in chief, right? I, I, I'm sorry, but I got to just talk about this. This is just this is outrageous. So the banks get a big break. Uh, uh, the commander in chief, the economic genius Donald Trump, is going to allow it to happen. He's he's bashing the Fed Reserve to make less regulation. Right? He's he's all for. He hasn't spoke particularly on this particular issue, but you could you could see in his in his narrative that he's for quantitative easing as a as a permanent, not as an emergency, but permanently give the banks whatever the hell they want. Keep printing, keep printing, keep printing. Don't collect tax from them and until it, 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 as long as I look good, right? Look, we got an election coming up, 2020, right? Don't make me fucking look bad, all right? Don't make me look bad, all right? Just keep pumping it up, man, until I get into office and then we'll loot the country. And if I don't get into office, we're going to loot the country anyway. So, you know, I either way, I make out. Right? Marcus Conti reporting. <laughs> 